voice user. The vulvas all used their breath and their sound to communicate with nature, to communicate with the spirits, to sing the runes or uh, voice the runes. So we need to learn to use our breath. One of the most important things is to learn to take a complete breath. So the first thing I want you to do is empty yourself of breath. And you may need to scrunch up or lay down and just push in your lungs push everywhere. So, and exhale to the point where you can't help but inhale. Do it again. Now, when you fill your breath, you fill up the bottom of your pelvic girdle first and you can feel it kind of bulging out with breath like a bellows and this is your diaphragm this is the seat of power for breath your lungs extend all the way down here so many of, of us tend to just breathe up in our upper lungs in a very shallow way taking a shallow breath <sighs> can feel the difference. Now take in a deep breath. It's a very different feeling. Now we need to let sound escape with our breath. And for this exercise, we will do the vowels a, e, e, o, u. These are the same four vowel sounds in Norwegian, Spanish, Hopi, all around the world, Chinese, all around the world, these are the four vowel sounds that babies naturally make. These are the sounds that nature makes. These are sacred vowels, sacred sounds. Oh, e, e, o, o. These are the sounds that nature makes. Try and keep your mouth very still when you do these. Oh, e, e, o, o. Now, doing them on a breath, each breath. Oh, hey. Now on the in-breath. One of the things that we need to do as voice users is to stretch out all of these muscles. So make a very wide face and stretch out your lips and your tongue. Now crunch it up tight and explode it wide again. Crunch it up tight and explode it wide. Keeping your jaw loose and all the many muscles in your face and tongue loose is going to help with keeping the breath flowing freely and naturally. Let's do those vowel sounds again. Ah, e, e, o, u. Ah, e, e, o, u. So you can start getting this idea of a circular breath with the sound coming on the in and the out breath. Add a consonant to each of the vowel sounds, like an M or an N. Mm, feel your lips vibrate. And 
it should really tickle and tingle. M, A, M, E, M, E, M, O, M, U, or an N. N, A, N, E, N, E, N, O, N, U, N, A, N, E, N, E, N, O, N, U, N, A, N, E. And feel the vibration in your upper chambers of your sinuses. And feel the vibrations in your body, in your lungs, in your diaphragm, in, the, in your back, in the small of your back. You should feel your body begin to vibrate with the breath and the sound. Some of the things that we do with the breath and the sound then are calling the four directions. Austri, which is east, Sudri, Vestri, and Nodri. So begin a nice light stav and tame. Austri, Vestri, Sudri, Nodri, Austri, Vestri, Sudri, Nodri, A, E, I, O, U, A, E, I, O, U, A, E, I, O, O, Austri, Vestri, Sudri, Nodri, Austri, Vestri, Sudri, Nodri, Austri, Vestri, Sudri, Nodri, and these little This is the use of the diaphragm as a um, as a quick bellows shot. Ha, he, he, ho, hu. And those kinds of punctuations can shift and change the energy. So we've already played with now this is 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 Austri vestri sudri no dri austri vestri sudri no dri ho hi ho hi ho he now do some of these long calls la u austri vestri su no dri austri vestri sudri no dri the most important thing for you as a voice user is to not judge the quality of what's coming out of your mouth as on key or sounds weird or any of those kinds of things because um, judging it as it comes out immediately cuts the energy flow and it engages the ego, which spits you right out of the world tree, right out of alignment. So thinking of yourself as a voice user rather than as a singer is a very uh, comforting notion, I think. Um, one last thing then with voice use is very often as you journey in the world tree, you will come across animals um, different kinds of animals. They might be fidya, spirit animals, or your hammer in a shape of an animal, which causes you to then speak in the voice of that animal. And so as you are practicing stuff, and especially when you're outside, practice the animal sounds that you hear, whether it's the cawing of the raven, or whether it's um, a squirrel, a ratatoska, or it could be a bear. Use different, the different chambers as you, as you go through voice use, you'll find there are different pockets of sound, of ca like caves or chambers where sound rings off of your system. And, and you will have so much fun playing with your voice, your stav, your ten, as you are um, aligned with the world tree and as you begin to journey with bolva stav.